Interesting. You are live with me, Barry Musa, on the Africa Daily Show on Africa Global Radio. And we are about to go find out what's up in COVID-19. Uh, in the space of COVID-19 generally, it's very interesting as the day goes by. Interesting stuff popping up here and there. Okay. COVID-19 Diaries. COVID-19 Diaries. COVID-19 Diaries. Today is January... Okay, why am I always in January, for God's sake? (laughs) Today is uh, 16th February 2021. The world has recorded 109,715,068 COVID-19 cases. 84,428,812 people have recovered from the virus globally. Sadly... 2,420,000 and 65 people have died from the virus across the globe. Condolences. Uh, Heart goes out to all of you who have lost your loved ones. Um, And yeah, we we move on generally. It's a difficult, it's a difficult thing to do or I would say it's a difficult step to take but life goes on. So let's continue to adhere to the safety protocols because we still have people who really love and depend on us, okay? Now let's move on to find out how the figures are looking like on the continent of Africa. COVID-19 Africa. COVID-19 Africa. Daily updates. 3,785,902 3,785,902 people have been infected with the virus on the continent of Africa from the east, north, west, central Africa, southern Africa. Yep, that's the total figure. However, 3,317,432 people have recovered. Okay. 99,078 people have sadly passed on. Commensurations to all of you uh, grieving families out there. It's not a joke. It's not an easy thing. Uh, let's, uh, let's do well to protect ourselves generally. While some of us are still waiting, uh, keeping our fingers crossed for... Uh, waiting for the, the vaccine to be here, the best we can do is to be safe, ensure and safety protocols, yeah? And and I always say this, that is not a guarantee that you cannot get the virus. That's one thing you should put at the back of your mind. And treat it per what the uh, the World Health Organization director says. Um, we should treat everywhere we go, who we meet, what we do, what we touch and what have you, as a matter of life and death, right? South Africa still leading on the continent of Africa with the... 1,492,909 COVID-19 cases. 48,094 people have passed on in South Africa, making it the country in Africa with the highest number of infected persons, with uh, people who have died, actually, uh, pardon me, people who have died in South Africa. 48,094 people have passed on. Condolences, again, to all families. Now, Western Sahara... Uh, yeah, still got it, uh, locked down, no deaths, still 10 figures, that's the confirmed cases, and I believe most of these guys have actually recovered, okay? So, but then there's an interesting bit that's happening in Tanzania. President Magufuli warns Tanzanians against COVID-19 vaccines. I am worried and surprising, uh, what is it? What is it about it? Or what is it about COVID that he seems not to believe? Tanzanian President John Magufuli has warned the country's health ministry against rushing into embracing the COVID-19 vaccines promoted by foreign companies and countries. Now, Magufuli cast doubt on the global urge to develop COVID-19 vaccine, claiming that the little that little has been done to help cure other diseases like tuberculosis, HIV, AIDS, malaria, among other infections. And uh, per him, the already existing ones are still here. HIV, AIDS, tuberculosis, and what have you. And the, the, the timely manner in which uh, we, we, ha- we now have the COVID-19, I mean, the timely manner in which the scientists have to, put in, have to put in work and everything to come up with a vaccine is actually something that he 
is still in doubt with, you know, uh, in, in terms of the, um, the workability of it, I believe, in terms of, uh, you know, how efficient it could be. There's a whole lot of issues there. Well, sometimes you, you, you're asking like, okay, it's a genuine question. On the, on, on, the, on the contrary, what if that's the only option we got at the moment? There's a whole lot of, you know, concern surrounding that particular issue. But then, yeah, that's what he's standing on. And I think to some extent, uh, well, he's a president. But I believe some negotiations or uh, discussions would have to be made to see what will be the way forward for people in Tanzania. Okay, and others as well, because not only people and some people in Tanzania do not believe that the virus is real. There are others, even in our base, Ghana, in other parts of the world as well. So, well, we pray for a better world tomorrow. Not even tomorrow. It's too, it's too, it's too late. The next minute, actually. The show was Africa Daily on Africa Global Radio. Uh, for more updates on COVID-19, log on to africaglobalradio.com. <laughs>